This is good. Okay. Mmm, I'm getting a crispy exterior with a chewy, cheesy scent. This is punishment. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the kitchen. Welcome to the Kitchen and George Show. The Kitchen and George Show is making an episode where we try every Trader Joe's baked pastry appetizer. Yes, all of the baked frozen apps. And you don't have to like prep them, you just take them out and then you heat them up and they're so good to go. Just, I think it's a frozen app. It's a frozen app. It's a frozen app video. video. Okay. Okay, we just, you know, sometimes the <laughs> Also, this video is sponsored by Rosetta Stone. Oh, well, thank you to them, and you'll hear more about them later. So, we actually last tried frozen apps like two, three years ago for the Ladylike channel way yeah. back when. So, well, this is the first time we've done Trader Joe's frozen apps for us, and a lot of these products are new, mm -hmm. and if they aren't new, I didn't remember them, so they're new to me. Yeah. And I, just don't watch the other videos. Just don't watch the other videos. Because like, we don't get any money from that. We're not getting money from that. Pretend that video is dead. This video is alive. This video is alive. It's coming out of its cage, and it is Do Mr. Bright Side. side. I it up. Coming out of my cage and I've been feeling alive. alive. <laughs> you kids love this, right? The Killers album came out in 2005. <laughs> that, that was shit. like that's a song playing when your mom gave birth to you. <laughs> As you know, when we are rating our foods, we rate them on a scale of just okay, pretty good, really great, and if you absolutely suck, your penalty box bad. No, gross, you know, gross. How many ways are trying? 12, 13, 13 14, 15, I don't know. 15. The first item we were gonna try is the Brazilian style cheese bread with tapioca flour and Parmesan cheese. This looks like a Don't say that. It does look like a don't Sorry. say that. He traveled a long way to come to you. <laughs> and there's supposed to be a crispy exterior with a chewy, cheesy center. <laughs> Let me try it. Mmm, I'm getting a crispy exterior with a chewy, cheesy center. Well, that's pretty good. No, yeah, actually, <laughs> it really is a crispy exterior with a chewy, cheesy center. I'm gonna chewy, cheesy you out the door. <laughs> Honestly, okay, really great. These are delicious. These are gluten-free. Yeah. In addition, they really do have a crispy exterior <laughs> with a chewy, cheesy center. Yum! <laughs> okay, these are really great. What? Stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the next item we're gonna be trying are the Trader Joe's ratatouille bites. Traditional ratatouille ingredients coated in panko, breadcrumbs, and fried. Veggie balls! These are veggie, these are fried veggie balls. Fried veggie balls! The ratatouille, I feel like it's all about the layers, but when you mush it into a ball and fry it, it's very much like just a mush of veggies. I, we'll see, maybe it's great. Maybe I mean, it's like you, so... love, you love mushing things into a ball and then not eating them. So actually, I don't think that the comparison's good at all. Yeah, I don't want to eat this. <laughs> this is punishment. I did something in a past life and I'm being punished for it now. Why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> I can't be punished for anything. <laughs> it's like too soft on the inside. The interior, it's like they stuck all the veggies in, in, like, and put them in a food processor. It's very mushy. I honestly am only tasting eggplant. It's like basically like baby food. These are bad. I think these are penalty box bad. <laughs> these are penalty box yeah. bad. These are, and I could, you know what? I could have told you that right from the jump. Yeah. Woo! Whoa! Oh we interrupt gosh. this video to bring you a little information about Rosetta Stone. We're gonna talk to you about our fun new hobby, which is brushing up on our high school French yes. via Rosetta Stone. Yes. There are a lot of programs that are designed to help you learn language. What makes Rosetta Stone different? Rosetta Stone's dynamic immersion approach provides a unique, engaging way to learn a language faster and to retain more. So instead of like, you know, just memorizing translations, sure. looking at books and, you know, boring stuff, you'll learn the way that like children learn language through pictures, listening to native speakers, and through interactive activities. That's really cool. The Rosetta Stone lessons, they're not just like going down a list and trying to remember certain words. Like there's actually like practical applications and that's what makes it feel like you're getting somewhere and to it me. Gets you, it gets you conversation ready. Yeah. What's the point of knowing a language if you can't talk to anybody? Exactly. It? Then you're just a weirdo in a beret yeah. asking for baguettes. It's us in France. To no one. <laughs> Rosetta Stone prepares you for real life conversations in real life scenarios. You'll learn practical phrases from your very first lessons. You can use your new language skills to make meaningful connections with real people. Rosetta Stone enables perfect pronunciation. Rosetta Stone's pronunciation tool helps learners nail their accent every time. La fille mange. Rosetta Stone is designed to fit every schedule. Lessons are as short as 10 minutes, so you can take them in between classes, in between work shifts, and before you go to bed. It just makes it easier to slot it into your day. Rosetta Stone is 100% on the go. It allows you to take learning everywhere through the Rosetta Stone app. Let's talk about Rosetta Stone's lifetime access deal. For $179, you get access to all of their languages, such as Spanish, Japanese, Dutch, French, Mandarin, Greek, Vietnamese, 
Jeez. And more on the Rosetta Stone app. Mm -hmm. Rosetta Stone memberships provide lifetime access. So you only have to pay once, and then you have access to those languages forever. At Rosetta Stone, they understand learning language takes time, which is why you won't have to pay renewal fees, and you can take as long as you want, or as short as you want, if you're me and excellent at everything, <laughs> at learning a new language. You are kind of excellent at everything. Aw, babe. Check out our code in the description box for a special deal from Rosetta Stone, courtesy of Kitchen and Jordan. And if you'd like to check out Rosetta Stone, you can go to the link below. Or the link in our description box. Thanks, Rosetta Stone. Thank you. Thanks for sponsoring this video. All right, let's come back. Woo! Woo! So these are the Trader Joe's kibbe. Okay. Might be pronouncing that wrong. Middle Eastern inspired stuffed meatballs made with beef, cracked bulgur wheat, onions, and seasoning. Yummy. These are just like basically fried meatballs with like a coating. Yeah, these look like fried lemons. They do look like fried lemons. Cute. <laughs> I don't know. They seem cute to me. Yeah. I mean, this should be, the meat should be spiced. It should be rich. It should feel like filling and satisfying. Okay. This is good. Okay. We can't speak to authenticity. But does this taste good? Yes. Yeah. It's actually pretty flavorful and it's like, I don't know, it's moist, it's tasty. You can taste the bulgur wheat very much. Mm -hmm. I would say this is really great too. That is really great as well. The next item we're trying is the Trader Joe's Jamaican style beef patties. Spicy turnovers in a flaky pastry. All right, let's eat them. Yep. <laughs> let's try. Spicy turnovers They're in warm. flaky pastry. I like it. I really like it. Damn, delicious. It's weird because I feel like I usually mm. complain about like ready-made pastries, but like this one, like the pastry is flaky and well-baked and like the meat inside, again, it's nicely spiced. is really nicely spiced and tasty. Mmm. If you can get these in Jamaica, they're probably amazing. God, this is delicious. Wow, I would say the Jamaican style beef patties, really great. These are really great, they're so flaky. It's not super spicy, it could be spicier, but it's tasty. Wow, all right, this is amazing. So this one came in bags and I ripped it. But the next thing we're trying is the Trader Joe's artichoke timbales. Timbales? Timbal timbales. Oh, it literally says timbales. I thought you were just making that word up. <laughs> this is artichoke hearts baked with cheese. This is basically like a, like a like an artichoke dip pastry. Yes. It's like an artichoke, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like you took those out of the bag so much as they escaped. <laughs> It did escape. <laughs> this looks how it tastes. It's not very good. These are disgusting. It, this is like what, melted Oscar the Grouch. Basically like what happens is like the artichoke heart is like congealing and like it just has a horrible texture. We need to return the artichoke heart to the spirit of the forest. <laughs> like what have we wrought? I don't know. <laughs> this is like the beginning of a fairy tale where we have to go on a f quest to yeah. fix it. I like vegetables. I just, I don't know what this is. Penalty box bad. Yeah, it's penalty box bad. If there was a thing worse than the penalty box, I would stick it in there. I guess the trash. The trash. <laughs> well, it's definitely going in there now. It's going <laughs> what is this? These are organic. the Trader Joe's organic veggie bites. Bite-sized tots with organic vegetables and sunflower seeds. Interesting. No! Don't give me more fried balls of veggies. <laughs> No. <laughs> the sesame seed is interesting though. Sorry, I just, I was burned by the ratatouille bites and now I shall be burned again. Maybe they'll be great. Okay, they're not great. But they're not as bad as I thought they would be. They're much better than the ratatouille bites. You do taste the sunflower seed, which is interesting. There's like a interesting. whole sunflower seeds in here. Yeah. They're just okay. They're just okay. A public service announcement. Are you interested in making an appetizer that's made of pureed vegetables and then throwing it in a fryer? Don't. This has been a public service announcement. Get vaccinated. <laughs> we might have had these before, but I don't remember them. So we're trying them again. Really? Yeah. These are the Trader Joe's Parmesan Pastry Pups. Uncured mini beef franks wrapped in puff pastry and sprinkled with Parmesan cheese. It's pigs in a blanket. It's pigs in a blanket. Did you make all of them or just two? Just two. You only made two? Yeah, so I can make room for all of these oh. we're not gonna eat. <laughs> During these cooking videos, I'm trying to be more environmentally friendly. So I use less of the baking trays. Also so that there's less work for I'm getting ketchup. Us to do at the end. I'm getting excited. She's, she's getting ketchup. I'm having a party. She's over it. <laughs> I'm not even listening. I'm just excited for that puff pastry. It's always fun to visit an old flame. <laughs> I'll be using a fork. I'm just like, I'm not. Best in show. Delicious. I mean, pa puff pastry with a tiny hot dog. You can't go wrong. It's flaky. It's juicy. It's fatty. Seasoned. Your friend's here. It's a great day. Ketchup. 
All right, these are really great. Oh, my God. Okay. Ooh, poppers. This is Trader Joe's Buffalo Style Chicken Poppers. White chicken meat and a spicy cheese filling wrapped in a crispy wonton. This one touched for my hair, so you can have this one. Oh, I wanted the one that touched your hair. Okay, you can have no, this one. No, I don't. Okay. I just, that's a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't super love buffalo chicken flavors, but they're pretty good. This actually crisped up really nice. The wonton's delicious. Mm. Chicken's nice. If you like buffalo chicken, I think these you're really gonna like these. These are pretty tasty. They're, yeah. they're like a little spicy too. Yeah. I always hesitate to say things are spicy because like whenever I do, you're always like, they're not. And I'm always like, okay, I guess I'm the fool of spice down. Here's the thing. If you compare me to like other spice heads, you're like, Jen can't handle spicy stuff. It's just, I seem like I am really into it because you're comparing me to Kisten. <laughs> Wow, you just, you, you, made, you made that more insulting to me. Well, no, because what I was working, at, I was working around it so that I would look better. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, I do see how that makes. Yeah. What are we gonna do about that? Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty good. These are pretty good. These are pretty good. These are pretty good. Wow. They're pretty good. Okay, what are we eating now? So this is the Trader Joe's perfectly pickled pups, mini cured beef franks, coated in a dill pickle flavored batter and breading. Mm. Wow. That's really good. That's good. Brie would love these. I like the tartness of the pickle taste, the dill pickle flavor. I like the tartness of the dill pickle flavor, uh, and I think it, it complements the fattiness of the beef. These pops are pretty good. Uh, they're pretty good. Next up is the Trader Joe's pastry bites with feta cheese and caramelized onions. I believe we've had these before. Again, we may have eaten these we before. We may have eaten these before, but don't watch the other video to check. Don't watch it, because you know what? We don't get money for that. Yeah, yum, 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 yum. I bet it's gonna be too hot to eat, honestly. Mine feels too hot to eat. You should try it anyway, though, it's your fun. Is it too hot to eat? Not if you're not a <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I'm gonna drink some water. <laughs> I'm not burning my mouth today. <laughs> a burn me. But I thought it was pretty good. I mean, these are delicious. It's like a little cheese acid bite. They're, they're good. These they're, are pretty they, good. You know, these are classic. These are classic of the genre. If we've eaten these before, which we'll never know because we're not checking that other video. But if we had eaten these before, I'm sure we agreed with that past <laughs> assessment, which is that they're pretty they're good. They're pretty good. The next items we're gonna be trying, we're gonna try together because they're kind of friends. We're gonna try the mini chicken tacos and the mini beef tacos in quick si Oh God. In quick succession. At the same time. At the same, At the time. same time. We will be double fisting those tacos. Okay. Chicken tacos and then the beef taco. Chicken first. Oh, it certainly tastes like. Is that chicken? It's, it's a little bland. This is like school lunch. I'm gonna try the beef. Okay, it tastes like. The beef is better though. Marginally. Very dry. Very bland. Very bland. The chicken is like very bland. The beef is a little bit more flavorful. Somebody put like a, 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 a thumb full of ground meat into like a little folded fried thing. It was like, here you go, kid. Hope this gets you through algebra. Yeah, it was not particularly flavorful. Yeah, these are just okay. These are great for children, I bet. Do you, have so like, bland. do you have little children who like won't eat anything, but they will eat like fried meats and something? Here you go. Yeah. Next is something I think we have tried before. These are the Trader Joe's mac and cheese bites. Yum. Oh, yum. Oh, yummy. I mean, yuck. <laughs> I actually thought that was D's. Well, you didn't like it? That's nasty. <laughs> to me, it just tastes like mac and cheese with like breadcrumbs. We don't have to agree on anything. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure everything. <laughs> we don't have to we agree. We should agree on some things. <laughs> we don't agree on anything. On anything at all. <laughs> it's like fried on richness, but like it doesn't really do anything to it. It's not very balanced. It needs hot sauce. I could say, I, I'm fine with saying these are just okay. You know what, maybe some hot sauce. Okay, well, she's gonna get that. <laughs> hot sauce. Well, now it just tastes like hot sauce. Okay, well then. <laughs> <laughs> is it still just okay? Yeah. Yeah, all right, it's just okay. <laughs> we had more really greats than I expected this video. We tried some new things. Mm -hmm. And some, maybe not some new things, but there's no way to know. There's no way to know. Thank you to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring this video. Thank you to Kristen for being such a good friend. And, and just a little cutie. And thank you to Jen for going to Trader Joe's this morning. I did. I love oh, you. I love you too. Bye friends. Bye. Bye.